LEGO 2K Drive may sound like it was named at 5.40 on a Friday afternoon. Seriously, if blending the publisher's name in a five-letter verb describing what you'll be doing most is all it takes these days, I look forward to the next Call of Duty being christened Activision Shoot. But, hey, don't hold that against it. Highly charming and imaginative, 2K Drive fuses confident kart racing with a virtually unlimited custom garage, making it a place where you can spend just as much time fastidiously building vehicles as you do frantically racing them. LEGO 2K Drive cribs from a lot of existing races, which makes it fairly easy to explain. Forza Horizon 4's dearly loved LEGO expansion rates as an automatic mention as a fellow open-world LEGO-themed racer, and they certainly both share the idea of having races and challenges spread out across the map to organically discover as we explore. However, despite that obvious LEGO link, 2K Drive is arguably more in line with Ubisoft's The Crew 2 and its hot-swapping system. Vehicles in 2K Drive transform between street rides, off-road races and boats as the terrain changes, complete with a satisfying brick-clicking sound effect. The ability to have multiple different trios of vehicles saved in your loadouts is very handy, though I would say the system is a little overzealous when set to shift automatically. The effect of your ride rapidly blinking from street to off-road and back again after spending just a split second on the shoulder is a bit manic. But you can turn automatic switching off if you'd rather swap manually. If you're unfamiliar with the Crew 2, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform's similarly mighty take on morphing motors may give you some idea of what to expect. Their brands of multi-terrain vehicle swapping racing around regularly crazy courses while blasting opponents with weapons are very alike. That looks like it hurt! 2K Drive definitely deviates from the Horizon brand of LEGO racing in terms of scale too. It's far more akin to Hot Wheels Unleashed in this regard. That is, there's an effective feeling that bucketfuls of LEGO have been assembled within life-sized environments with huge non-LEGO items like tools, tires and tree roots scattered amongst colourful plastic dioramas in each of its four separate open worlds. Look at that castle. I wonder what it costs to heat that place. Unfortunately, 2K Drive doesn't nail this toy-sized idea quite as consistently as Hot Wheels Unleashed does. The lighting isn't as convincing, and the illusion is occasionally disrupted by items that feel out of place at the scale it's trying to suggest. Like, say, miniature real leaf litter that should have been life-sized. Also, unlike Hot Wheels Unleashed, 2K Drive doesn't measure distances in centimetres or inches, which is a slight shame because it's those last pieces of attention to detail that would make a pint-sized toy racer like this really sing, if you catch my drift. Couldn't have drifted better myself! On that note, drifting is executed in a slightly peculiar way in 2K Drive, and by default it requires us to hold both the brake and throttle at the same time throughout an entire drift. It's actually very easy to grasp, but it does feel a little odd to have the brake squeezed fully down for considerable parts of a race. It's possible to switch to a more typical tap-to-drift mechanic, but that's a little less predictable and I have found my drifts ending prematurely, leaving me to battle understeer or jam down the brake mid-corner to get another drift going. With that said, the sensation of long, high-speed power slides is well translated by 2K Drive's handling model. It's simple to pick up and play, but arguably more complex than it first seems, especially once you start to exploit the mild air controls possible via the rocket jump and nitro boost, or feel the subtle effects of weight as your vehicles lose bricks from collisions and combat. In a clever touch, crashing through trackside objects will replenish the LEGO in your own damaged ride. Also, the dedicated handbrake button, or quick turn as 2K Drive dubs it, is a crucial and welcome addition. It's very useful for tight switchbacks and an absolute necessity to effectively complete some of the missions, particularly the destruction-based ones that require swift changes of direction. Nice turn! The rubber banding might be a fraction too flagrant at times, but it does at least keep the racing chaotic and close, and it rarely feels unfair. The track design is also generally strong, with plenty of technical segments, environmental hazards, and rewarding shortcuts. 
2K Drive performs smoothly on Xbox Series X, but I have had a friend lose hours of save game progress on PS5 without warning, which appears to be a known issue. 2K Drive is probably guilty of leaning a little too heavily on some of its non-racing mission types, some of which are riffed upon several times throughout the career mode. The collection missions are the most egregious and they're essentially just padding to stretch out proceedings. The story itself lasts me around 10 hours sticking at it, but I have been left with a lot of uncompleted side objectives. It does a slightly poor job of spelling out why certain later missions are unavailable until you unlock the next batch of races, especially since younger players may just stumble across them and think they're broken. But the story is very cute. I absolutely found myself smiling along with the cutscenes, which emulate the same photoreal stop-motion style nailed by the LEGO movie. Well, thank you! My kids loved the villain, who was frankly far funnier than the token bad guy in a licensed racing game probably had any right to be. Ah, this is ridiculous! My barber is meticulous. Stop it! Our biomes are contiguous! No. This plan seems a bit ambiguous. I said no! I saw a tree that was deciduous! Ah, shut up! Now, the last LEGO racing game I played, beyond Forza Horizon's take on it, was LEGO Races back in 1999, which is fondly remembered by gamers of a particular vintage for its rudimentary custom car building. 2K Drive pays homage to that game with a customization tool of its own that would have seemed like witchcraft in the late 90s. Seriously, if you can dream it and it fits in the allocated space, you can build it. It's honestly quite remarkable. In fact, my stats tell me I've spent more time building than I have driving. The amount of options and controls was a little intimidating at first, but after a few hours I felt quite comfortable relaxing and piecing together my first project, which became a chunky caricature of Mad Max's iconic Interceptor. Shut the gate on this one, Max. It's the duck's guts. Snapping pieces together is occasionally finicky, but generally it's very cooperative. Pieces can be painted in any colour you want, whether they're officially available in the real world that way or not. You can group pieces, duplicate them, mirror them, and make fine angle adjustments. You can even delete and add pieces without pulling entire segments apart, like you'd have to do in real life. A range of pieces are held in reserve as rewards are available to purchase for credits from the in-game store, meaning you may not be able to perfect your build immediately upon booting up. But the customization system in 2K Drive is nothing short of excellent. It's not mandatory to spend a bunch of time here though. If you don't want to start from scratch, you can edit the existing models for a head start on builds. Don't feel you have to put together large projects like mine either. If you want to keep it simple, you can grab a palm-sized chassis and simply whack together a quick little cart with a handful of bricks. It takes you back to the time before the turn of the century when music was good and The Simpsons was funny. Found it! Oh, don't pretend like you don't get my abstract Gen X references. I'm not old, you're old! Gah! Moreover, if a meathead like me is able to put something like this together after just several years of riding shotgun on my son's Lego building, imagine what true Lego experts are going to be able to assemble. Finding that out is where 2K Drive stumbles though, as the ability to share creations is not available presently. It's been clarified that custom vehicle sharing is a feature that will be included in a post-launch update, but what form that takes is a mystery. Will it be limited to friends? Or will there be an in-game browser to see the best models from anybody? I hope it's the latter. What's particularly unfortunate is that an in-game microtransaction store has apparently taken precedence over players sharing user-generated content, especially considering the prices of the content in it seem very high relative to the payouts of in-game currency I've received on the way to reaching the end of the story. Personally, I'm not interested in anything but more brick types to make my own vehicles, which have been cheap enough to pick up with the credits earned simply from playing. But I don't doubt there'll be kids conned into hassling their parents for credits. How will an ability to disseminate free custom vehicles work in concert with this? I know people are going to build some amazing stuff, and I would like them to be able to share it. Oh my cogs, you assembled a rocket! Nah, I don't know where that came from. Probably would have been a pretty good idea though, huh? <laughs> oh well. One part The Crew 2, one part Mario Kart, and 1,000 parts 
LEGO parts. LEGO 2K Drive is a wild and whimsical all-ages kart racer that's buried itself under my skin like the pointed edge of a rogue plastic brick underfoot in a messy kid's bedroom. Better still, it's one that embraces the total creative freedom real LEGO affords like few games before it, with an incredible custom vehicle creation tool that's just about worth the price of admission alone. The current inability to share those designs with others is disappointing, particularly in the shadow of another tedious microtransaction store, but LEGO 2K Drive is certainly the fastest and funniest way to rock out with your blocks out in recent memory. For more high-speed reviews, check out our verdicts on Disney Speedstorm Early Access and Forza Horizon 5 Rally Adventure. And for everything else, stay on IGN. Just try not to pass out! What? Free!